Hey everyone, I realized based upon a couple questions that I did not do an excellent job explaining about pictures. So a lot of these flippity things, um, you can again look at the demo and the instructions and when you get the template, so I'm just going to do the template here for the flashcards just to show and I'm going to make a copy. It just takes a second. So then it fills it in. So you might be like, oh my gosh, like all this information. Remember, when you get this, it's a good idea. Like this is you to put your detective hat on and you have your magnifying glass and you're sort of studying like, okay, like what can happen? Okay, so you, so you just notice that you can have all different colors for your cards and then you can switch the text color too. So you can sort of just sort of pick what you want. And then it, you can look here and you can see, okay, like I can have YouTube videos and I can have um, images in here. So the image piece is the one that I did not make very clear to you. So all images are not the same. So what happens is if you do a search and you find an image, so I have an example here, so this flippity doesn't work and you're like, what the heck, why doesn't it work? So if I click on one of the images, so you can say, okay, Beth, of course you click on it. There is an image right there. But what I want you to notice about this image is it's not just the image. There's all this other stuff on the page and that's where it gets problematic. So for every single image, you're going to use my favorite tool. You know, I love to right click. So whoop, I did not mean to do that. I have to go back. So if you right click come on, on there, then you're going to go down to copy image address. So there is an address just for that image. So watch what happens. I'm going to copy that image address and I'm going to show you, I'm going to click to the side here and I'm going to paste. So you can see when I do that, look at that. The image appears all by itself. So that's what you need to do. This is something that was, you know, kids have a tr have trouble with this as well. So this is something that I actually end up teaching kids um, quite a bit. So when there's a lot of different tools that you need the image by itself. So when you have that, if we go back to here and I just need to replace this link with the image link that will get them right to that one particular image. And if you do that, so I'm going to show you the copy of, I have already finished this flippity. So before it wasn't working, the other thing you have to make sure you do is you have to make sure you publish it. And I've already published this before. So I published to the web. And so it's publishing the entire document. So that is all set for me. So I can just hit the X to close. So once you publish it, you just hit the X. Oh, I also like this automatically republish when changes are made. So if I'm, I'm fixing the underlying document, it's going to do it for me, which is a good thing. So now that I've closed that, I'm going to go to the get the link here. And this is the link that I'm going to use. If I click on that and I click here, I can also copy the link. So you can just paste the duplicated the, the link right into your Google Classroom. And so here now there's the flashcards. So if I click on the flashcard, then I can watch the video and I can move to my next flashcard. And then there's all sorts of games. So here, so these are just the, the flashcards and then I can look at all the flashcards in a list and I can do some practice where they're gonna ask me a question and I can practice through them. They have matching games so I can sort of match so some of this, some of these tools will lend itself more readily to others and it'll time me as I'm doing it. Um, and then there's more things so they can actually send it to all these other different programs. So a lot of the flippity tools have things underneath. I think that these would be really engaging for kids. So I hope you give it a try, but remember, get your images by themselves. So just to review, you are going to right click and you're going to copy image address. So the image address is the one that you want. We will be reviewing more of that this week because we are going to be working on images. Um, and so we're going to actually do the image address a lot this week. So it's good for you to have a little preview. Okay. So now that I have that first image that I copied, and I actually can't even remember what it's for, but let me just hit, I'm going to show you what to do. So you have this flippity document. It's called copy of flippity.net flashcards template. Oh boy, that's terrible. So again, you want to just rename it and you want to make sure you put it in a logical place, right? So you don't want it to be floating somewhere. So maybe I would probably start with the unit that I'm trying to reinforce. Some people might put all of their flippities together. So however you want to do it. Um, so I'm going to say multiplication. And I would make sure that I put this in my drive, that I put it in the multiplication folder so I'd know where to find it. And I'm going to just click right here and I'm going to paste that link. Oop, not where I did it. Undo. I'm going to click down here. I was in the title there and paste the link. There we go. So that just has the link and I'm going to visit it again. Okay, so this one is, all right, so this is going to be the nines times tables. 
So now I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna go nines. All right, so now this one, I'm gonna do the card color. So right now this says a blue card with red writing. Maybe I'll put blue card with black writing. So I might test them out to sort of see what they look like. And then don't forget, once you have the color combination that you like, you're just gonna use that little, what we already know about copying through our cells and copy it all the way down. So, I mean, you can alternate if you want, but again, if I alternated, like let's say I wanted the first one to be blue, the next one to be green, and then I want an orange one, and then I want a red, and I want a yellow, let's just say, whoops. And I wanted to alternate that pattern, so remember, Google knows patterns. Google Sheets knows patterns. Spreadsheets know patterns. So I'm going to copy that. So I have a one, two, three, four, five pattern. Watch what's going to happen. It's going to go through that, that pattern for me. So how nice is that? So I get the variety in there so it's not all the same color. But maybe you want it to be all the same color. Totally up to you. Now they have all this stuff in here. So you probably like that feels a little overwhelming. All you got to do is highlight what they have and then just hit your your delete or your backspace button. Boom, it's gone. And so then you can fill it in with what you want. Now the very last thing you wanna do is you're gonna do that file, which we already showed before, but you're gonna do the publish to the web. And so I'm gonna hit publish. And this other part says, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so that's done. You don't copy this. This part, part is a little confusing. So you might think like, oh, I need to copy. No, just close that. Close it, don't look at it. Now you're going to go to the get link here. This is where, so your link has to have flippity in it. So some of you might think like, oh, I'm supposed to go there and change that link. No, no, no. Don't change the link. Just, you're going to click there and this will bring you to the flashcards. And now we can look and see like, okay, that's what the blue one looks like. That's what the green one, orange. So it's good that you can sort of check through to see the colors. Because I had colors listed in my spreadsheet, but I didn't have any information on it, it's going to put blank flashcards up there. So make sure that when you're doing your, let me go back to the demo, that you don't have extra stuff. So if I don't have any content here, then I am gonna wanna delete those. And so if I do that, then my flashcards, watch what happens. If I go back and I go to my link and I click on the link, now I have the nines, but if I hit arrow through, I only have one flashcard. So if you put any data in your spreadsheet, then it's going to make a card for that, even if it's incomplete. So just double check that as well. All right. I hope this helps. And don't forget that questions are awesome and questions help people learn and questions help make the class better because a lot of people are going to have the same questions. So ask them, do not feel that you're being a burden, like send in your questions because it's just going to make it better and we can improve the product and we can help more people. And it's all about helping the teachers so that the teachers can help the students and make learning fun this fall.